Hi friends, my name is host Eric. I've just completed a 28 day shorts channel experiment and I'd like to provide a lot better answers than you can currently get in the status quo regarding how the short speed works and what's going on there. So if you're like me, then you maybe watch Creator Insider videos in which the YouTube people purport to answer your questions about things. Your shorts questions answered. Well, it is true that they answer some shorts questions, but they're not the questions that matter that I want answers to, right? And I think if you're a creator, you probably have to have this same experience with the Creator Insider videos. How the, the one question they answered, which gave a reasonably useful answer, was how do you incorporate shorts into your YouTube life? Do you add it to the mix of your existing channel, or should you have a separate channel for it? And their answer was, if you have a clear vision for a separate channel, then you should probably do that. However, if you want to make shorts that are on the same sort of topic as your existing channel, then you should just incorporate it, which is a fine enough answer to make. But it is predicated on <coughs> a failure to address the core questions that make one ask that question in the first place. Namely, how is this going to impact my views if I do it way one or way two? Well, how's it going to impact my subs? So I have a main channel that already puts up a ton of shit. If I start flooding up there a bunch of shorts, is it going to alienate my subs more or is it going to give me more subs because I'm exposed to more views? How does it link to money? Well, currently, shorts are not monetizable, even on a monetized channel. And to the extent that you can earn money from shorts, it comes from a special fund, at least short speed views of shorts. It comes from a special fund in which YouTube arbitrarily awards people $100,000 to $10,000 for their shorts accomplishments based on criteria not stated by people not named. <laughs> so it's, it's like a mystery box. Who knows what's going on in there? Uh, another consideration is the aesthetic. They seem to be have hammered out some of the bugs on that. The shorts the sh shorts block is no longer such a eyesore if you have a regular channel and you want to mix the two things together as it, as it was in its original manifestation. But this also brings up the issue of notifications. The shorts impact the notifications rule in which there are you're allowed three notifications a day or do they not impact that rule? Well, as far as I can tell, they do impact that rule and they shouldn't. So that may be a bug that YouTube needs to fix for a bit. Now let's take a look at the stats of this first month experiment so you can see uh, what we're looking at. Go back to the beginning. All right. So here are the stats. I started on this date here, the basically the 12th of March and 28 days from then is the 8th of April. So as you can see during those 28 days uh, and prior to which I had had basically no views and I in fact I deleted everything prior to this experiment to make it clean. So uh, 220,000 views which is greater than 999% more in the previous 28 days. 716 hours of watch time which is quite a bit considering none of the videos we're talking about go over 15 seconds, right? And plus 271 subscribers. I did have some subs, about 15 of them, prior to starting this experiment, uh, apparently, because if I had 271 this month and I've got 280 whatever now, then that would be the answer to that. As you can see, my best day was over 20,000. But it also had these kind of things, these kind of troughs, right? So now let's look at this little piece of media I generated to go over the next bit of data. Looking at this page here, this is the live update page. Right now it's at 895 views for the last 60 minutes and only 17,759 views for the last 48 hours. So I was getting pretty excited because this number had been going up consistently. So the 48 hours doesn't change in terms of total amount of time, but it's just through time. And so what you want to see obviously is for that number to gradually increase. 
as your 48 hours are better than the ones before them, the preceding them, right? But now it got as high as 42,000 in 42 hours, and now it's back down to 17,000. As you can see, these spikes make a big difference. Um, like this hour had 2,400. This hour at 2100 but it's uh, it's kind of a crap shape and if you scroll down what you'll see here is last 48 hours best videos last 60 minutes the way the short speed works is some videos like this one get all of their videos their views in a very compacted time some are much more spread out like all in look makes everything better and there's no particular reason that I can tell as to why. And if you see here, this is the one that's active right now, a bucket for Kevin. It's getting a bunch this hour, and then it'll probably drop off. It has to do with the way the short speed works, I guess. Some of them have more legs than others, but they all have fairly limited legs because it's a short feed. So these ones look like they're just getting started on the feed. Elephant Father and Tips Planning Fatherhood. If you look at the next page here we'll see more okay so now let's look at that more but in slideshow form so this is what the content page looks like and I started at this slot because I wanted to show you one way these play out. One way these play out is as uh, is as I guess you'd say this would appear to suggest a meritocratist approach. Namely Okay, these all got a chance. These two that have the higher scores, the 1,187 and 2,088, did better. This one down here, though, would seem to have never really gotten a chance on the feed, unless that's the, the, all the chance it gets is 12. But some of them, I know they haven't had a chance because they've got like three or four views, and they're probably mine. So it's hard to say what's going on there. Let's look at the next page of the... So this would be an example of one that's again suggestive of meritocracy. Even though these were all uploaded back to back, these three at the top scored 2000s, these two between them scored 300s and 400s, these three below scored 3000. So, and since they were all put together up and this, I've been scheduling them about two hours apart, these ones would seem to be evaluated entirely on their merits. Now, if you look at this page though, you see what we clearly have are a couple ones that haven't gotten a chance, a couple ones that have gotten a chance. And then if we look at this page, all of a sudden we've got, well, what happened here? This one did reasonably well, this one is doing reasonably well, but all of these ones seem to have this one maybe got a chance, harmless fun, and didn't, and didn't succeed, but this 7, 11, 7, it doesn't seem like they really had an opportunity in the short speed. So, and then here's one, another one where it would seem that, uh, but of course th these are more recent ones, so when you get a recent one, it does take a little while for it to hit the feed, even if it's going to hit it relatively soon. So these ones may just have to wait in line for a little while, you know. Okay. Now I want to point out that regardless of the success of those particular videos on Mindy's, they're humor things primarily, almost exclusively. They're trying to be funny, except for occasional ones that are expository, like they're kind of providing information you need. Um, but I do have a playlist on my main channel, which has 213 view videos in it, and the total amount of views for all 213 of these long-form comedy videos is 338. So, 
213 of my 6,000 plus videos, 7,000 plus now, on the main channel were explicitly joking stuff. And of the millions of, I don't remember exactly how many views this channel has, but I think it was 3 million or something. Um, only 338 of them came from these 213 joke videos. Now, I've always thought of myself as a pretty funny guy. I, I, I always thought I could do comedy. I'd like to do comedy. I'd like to be successful at it. But YouTube told me for eight years, you aren't funny or can't succeed at being funny. Some of these things got high like percentages, but didn't do any good. They didn't get any legs from YouTube in terms of promoting the humor. So this is one of the reasons why I find Mindy's Club so gratifying is I'm getting to do humor that actually gets people to watch it a little bit. And maybe I just needed that 15 second limit to constrain my NI to make my humor more successful. That's certainly plausible. So let's shut down that one. Let's see what's next. Okay. So now I'm going to play the next bit of media actually that I have prepared here. I did quite a bit of prep for this. Okay, so if you're going to have a shorts only channel, you need to account for longs as well. So, this is how I do it. It'll come up with your short speed. You can obviously move the sections around. Uh, I have mine organized by characters, club officers, club seniors. Each character gets any video there and they get to be on that playlist. You know, club juniors, club sophomores, club freshmen, club prospective club members. So that's how mine are organized. But then I also have a playlist called Mindy's Club, which is just a playlist of all the shorts that causes you to watch them all as long form videos rather than as shorts. So by doing this, what if I prefer to access it in this format or somebody else does, it, it, I can and additionally let's we'll talk about the monetization thing in a little bit okay so anytime anybody watches that playlist those videos if that channel were monetized would be able to be monetized and would be getting earning money because that's how they fit into the existing payment structure for YouTube. Okay. <coughs> so, let's go back to the slideshow and point out some things here. So this is a an image of the lifetime of the Shorts channel to show you that in fact this was exactly a one month experiment. This is the life, lifetime of it. So you can see up here this house is lifetime. November 4th through April whatever. Um, <coughs> I started the channel November 4th as kind of an overflow channel for my main channel. I didn't want to flood it with too many shorts. I wasn't sure how that was going to impact things, etc. But it ended up laying relatively dormant because most of the shorts I made, I decided I wanted to put on my main channel. It wasn't until I started doing something very specific with shorts, Mindy's Club, that I wanted a separate channel. And in that regard, the creative insiders people were were are right about about whether you to incorporate it or not if you have a specific concept you're going to do exclusively that that is shorts then make it its own channel okay oh so now let's look at this all right so this is my other channel talking with fans people the channel you're watching this on and this is what my first top part of the content looks like because I've got a bunch of scheduled shorts. I decided on a one last night to do these type pet shorts and uh, I, I popped out 15 of them real quick because they're really easy to make. They're a lot easier to make than Mindy's Club shorts which are making making art rather than disseminating information. But this isn't how normally my content and I schedule these four hours apart which is probably a good scheduling time, but I'm not, I just don't know because the data of Mindy's Club is kind of inconsistent regarding that. Here's 
what it looks like on Mindy's Club. This is not in order. Here we go. So this is what if you look at the page here of of um, the extended stats thing for for the month basically you'll see that my number one short on Mindy's Club is still your swimming and it got 8,000 and it got a impression it, it generated 24 subs okay but it generated 24 subs and this one generated 8 but it's got more views right so let's look at this one that's got it's about a fourth of it So look at this one is about a fourth of it, let's say, down here. And we look at the subs. Eight subs here for 2,500 views. Okay. 24 subs here for 8,300 views. 2,500 times three is 7500 so it's not just sub rate that made this get more and it's also not just percentage of time viewed because when we look at that in a second you'll see that all of the shorts have incredibly high percentage of times viewed and it doesn't go in a line down now I want to note this as well impressions if I have 22,000 views, why only 67 impressions, and what do impressions mean, and what does impression click-through rate mean? Well, let's look at that. So, if you look at the main channel, talking about fans people, you'll see, oh, this is the same channel, same channel. Now, we've got it listed under traffic sources. Your impressions, you'll note, 63,000. The reason it's only 63,000 is because short speed don't give you impressions in other words if it's showing you a thumbnail then it's asking you to watch it in long feed long form video form and so there's no click through impression rates on on no impressions from short feeds an impression is when youtube shows you a thumbnail uh, instead those impressions come primarily from search and there's only a 1.8 click through rate which is low However, when they come from playlists, there's an 8-11% click-through rate, which is high. Um, and when they come through browse features, which suggests they're already interested in the channel, somewhere in the split. And if they come from suggested videos, it's better than YouTube search, but not quite as good as the, the playlist page, right? So these are for impressions and click-throughs. You'll see the reason they're impressions is because they come from places that turn them into long-form videos, like the playlist page, suggested videos, browse features. Um, although, sometimes when I click it from browse features, it goes to the shorts presentation of it. But you're still, I guess, looking at a, a thumbnail. So I'm not sure what that means. And then the playlist, well, this is going to turn, at least if you put the playlist like I did, where you put them all in one playlist, then that playlist comes out as long form videos. However, it seems now that they fixed this and you can just use an uploads instead of that. For a while it didn't work. If I put uploads on the shorts channel, it didn't show anything. There wasn't any uploads according to the shorts. According to YouTube, I had no uploads because they were all shorts. Anyhow, you can see here how some of your shorts will nevertheless be subject to be to paying you potentially. 
if it does this, then it's subject to paying you. If it does the impressions click through thing, but um, this channel's not monetized, so I'm not gonna get paid for those anyway. All right, let's go on to the next slide. Now this looks very different than my Mindy's Club uh, graph. What we have here is the whole the whole month. It looks like I did nothing, 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 something, 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 something. something. Actually, these are shorts. And they make they do so much better than regular videos in terms of total views that they make this chart misleading. Here's my actual numbers for that channel for the month. I didn't put how much money I made there because I think YouTube doesn't like it when you tell tell people when you show people that. I will tell you it's $199. Um, 78,000 views. 6.7 thousand hours of watch time. So, remember on the Shorts channel, I had 200,000 views, but not nearly so many um, hours of watch time. Let's get back and show you. Seven hundred sixteen hours of watch time for two hundred twenty thousand views versus seventy eight thousand views for six thousand seven hundred hours of view time. Plus 84 subscribers, which is about as what I normally get, you know. And you can see the, the bumpies here are less dramatic than on the short speed. Now, if we look at the live stats on talking with famous people, well, we see that the shorts are doing like shorts do. Piao. Piao. And we'll see how well they end up doing. These are shorts recently, but they're topical to the thing. And then you got a typing session here that got a bunch of views when it was published immediately thereafter, foreign or some. But then now people who are going to watch it have probably watched it. This one, a car video about typology, 200 views, 200 views, 192 views. So. You see, the views I'm getting on these things are like 10 times less than Shorts views. But they're also like about 10 times more meaningful, maybe? If you look at a regular part of my, my content part of talking with famous people that are not littered with Shorts, that are scheduled to publish, you'll see something like this. And what this will show you is that I've got 420, 500, 82, 302, 311, 216, 649 for a typing session. They tend to do a little better. Um, 181 for these little blog things that do poorly. And this was a short Gary's profile. Now look, for a short 19 likes and six comments is absolutely insane those stats are just through the roof now I have I don't recall what his watch time percentage is on that particular short but why hasn't that short if they're evaluating in terms of a combination of watch time com likelihood of comment and like ratio this one should be blowing up but there's some other factors involved that I just don't know what they are. And then if we look at this page, you'll see I've got a bunch of non-shorts, and then I've got three shorts back to back. California gas prices, some horses don't race, and the bad horses, and they're all doing better than any of these other ones. 
However, not a lot better than ENTP versus ESTP, who is smarter. It is possible for me to structure content knowing that it's going to do better or worse accordingly. So if we look at this part of the of the um, stats, even though I only have 28,000 views, I've got over a million unique impressions and a click-through rate of 4%, which means 78,000 views. Average duration of 5 minutes, average percentage viewed only 15.3%. Now, if we look at this one here, you can see what I'm saying about the impressions because on this one short speed which does account for 21% of my views accounts for 0% of my perceptions I mean impressions okay uh, so that's worth noting Okay. Now there was a key component in this that I wanted to to show that I don't think I've managed to successfully show somehow, which is the watch time percentage of the short stuff. So let me see where I'm logged in here. Okay, so now stuff's happening on Mindy's Club, and I can always tell because when stuff's happening, the subscriber rate jumps. When I made this, or not just before I started it, it was at 287, now it's at 293. So some kind of stuff's going on with the analytics, which means we're having a few videos hitting at the same time. And if you look here what I'm about to show you you'll see what I mean okay so so right now they're 800 or 900 views in the last hour and this number starting to creep back up it hit as low as 17,000 now it's at 19,000 so if we were to look at this part make it bigger so we can see it better we can see and you look at the dates here so when it's published. August 8th, August 7th are getting a lot of action. August 6th is has in the last 48 hours, but not anymore. And then August 8th, August, I mean April, April, not August, April 8th, April 8th. April 5th used to get action, doesn't anymore. It's probably off the beat forever. April 4th, same thing. Um, April 5th same thing but they they were close enough that they still were getting views in the last 48 hours this one April 8th is just starting to get good views Elephant Father will see if it takes off or not same with this one Tiffany explains fatherhood but you see here with a little bit of blue it kind of tapered off right away it may have just been a fail and it's hard to say exactly why and then as far as the rest of these go we're looking at I guess fails so I mean some of them like this April 4th or April 5th one may have gotten good views but not in the last 48 hours nevertheless this is still going back up rather than down which is encouraging but that's not what I wanted to show you here what I want to show you here was this so if you remember the watch time from the main channel being, I don't know, 13% or something. The average percentage viewed on the Shorts channel is 136%. But you will note that 
the higher percentage viewed. 207 is high. That means people watch the whole thing twice through every time on average. But there are higher ones like this one. 246 and for some reason it has 2500 views whereas 207 has 8000 and then there are some that have kind of comparatively weak ones like this one only has 91 percent and that's low for shorts to make the feed it seems like 88 percent low to make the feed yet it's got good decent numbers of all the top 50 of the views on this channel all have more than 2,000 views to them but if in fact it's not average percentage viewed that's the issue um, let's look at adding subs to this equation you see here that this goes steadily down right so what's the most important factor in how many views you get well you might say it's subs but the problem here is these numbers the percentages don't go steadily down quite as smoothly No, they do. So obviously, this is the determinant factor. Is the percentage of people who are willing to subscribe. But this, but this percentage is the percentage of your total numbers of subs. So. It's like, the thing is, what you really needed a number here is what percentage of 1342 is 9 versus what percentage of of 3692 is 9 if it were the sub rate then this one Tiffany gives instructions would be doing better than Duck Girl because it's got a would be doing worse than Duck Girl because it's got substantially worse than Duck Girl because it's got a substantially lower sub per view rate, right? And there are other things, their view, every percentage viewed is about the same. And like this 8 subs for 5,000 views, this 8 subs for 2,000 views. So in other words, this is organized by subs. But if you if you really look at it, you realize the sub rate is also not particularly determinate. So what is determinate then on this matter? Well, it does seem to me as a minimum criterion, you have to have a high average percentage viewed, but that rule is occasionally busted as per the 91 and the 93 percent that I showed you. Even those are not they're not totally weak, right? Um, whether or not something gets comments, it's hard to say whether that's a particularly salient factor or not. If you evaluate the data from, from my main channel, then it would seem to not be a salient factor because the, because the subs I, because the shorts I have on talking with famous people often get more comments than than the ones on Mindy's Club and also it's the case that how many comments they get doesn't seem to have anything to do with how successful they are so this short here got 10 comments. That's a lot of comments. 21 likes for 900 
26 thumbs for 900 is not a very good ratio compared to 9 thumbs for 163. But, um, and I guess the same, it's approximately the same comment ratio, right? But, you look here at Gary's profile, 19 likes, 6 comments, but only 271 views, another short, right? This one, on the other hand, has 37 thumbs in 1700. So this is actually getting closer to 5% thumbs. 5% thumbs seems to be the golden percentage, uh, both for long forms and shorts. This one, however, 52 likes, 55 let's call it, 1800. So this is more like a third, right? So 3%. Um, and this one's even worse. There'd be 10% of 320, 5% of 640, 2.5% of 1280, and than that even so it's a small percentage right of thumbs as so whether they're likes or dislikes I'm not sure if that's relevant or not either this one is a short it did did pretty well it got 1760 you got six comments and it got 75 likes that's a lot closer to five percent than some of these right so why didn't it given this stuff do better? Well, it's really hard to say. The, the YouTube algorithm's a great mystery. I will say this, if you use their music, then you can't monetize their videos at all, but those ones seem to do, at least sometimes, have an advantage. The short on the mini channel that got second place is the one in which I make a short video for Freddy and I Pet Freddy is the song where they go, it's been so long since last I saw a chance to see my daughter anyway that one's got 5,000 this one's from Britney Spears Toxic a remix of it and it's got 3,000 views so that does tend to give you a bit of an advantage however unlike uh, other shorts that don't use their music you cannot monetize the shorts that use their music in terms of long form videos so they don't monetize at all so okay that's my basic basically my overview of the shorts experiment was it a successful experiment um yes i'd say so and also i should mention the follow-up on the 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 other thing so i did get an email from youtube saying we're inviting you to apply to join the shorts community managing team or whatever, which basically says we're inviting you to be a shorts person who gets to have to be treated special like people who got a hundred thousand subs or something. Except I only have less than three hundred subs, but it is true that in one month I did a lot of I made a lot of work, right? I consistently publish shorts every couple of hours or so for the entire month and they're all the same and I put together a nice cleanly like consistently branded channel and all that kind of stuff uh, I was very excited when I got asked to apply and I put up a video well I've since reread that email multiple times and finally after multiple reads I saw at the very end it says if we accept you, you'll hear back from us soon. <laughs> so the fact that I haven't heard back from them suggests they either haven't accepted me or the time frame doesn't fall within soon. Uh, it doesn't surprise me they didn't accept me because I would expect them to require more subs than that to accept me in a program like that, although the shorts are new, so who knows who's eligible. On the other hand, I would hope that YouTube would say, this is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for a shorts channel that's doing just shorts, that's got a clear uh, vision behind it, and that 
is successful enough that most of them can hit that first ceiling of two two twenty five hundred. Then there's this second ceiling of around ten thousand, um, and and then I don't know how you get to be one of the shorts that has four million views or something. They usually involve the the first picture on the short is a chick with scantily clad chick, you know. So that that probably I don't know. I, I don't I don't know how to get through the next the next ceiling, you know, to get beyond ten thousand. The most one time I got thirty thousand views on a short on my main channel. It was a typology short that was a particularly good short that I knew was gonna pop because it demonstrated a commonly encountered problem and an easy solution to it that probably a lot of people hadn't thought of before. And so that's gonna carry some like, oh, that's so useful and, and interesting kind of pop to it. That one got to 30,000. Uh, I don't know how they decide, like, when your chance to continue moving on to the next the next level ends. At some point, I'm sure they have increasingly strict criteria that, and if, if it maintains this level of success through this many people, then it gets going this way. If it still maintains it through this many, then it's basically broadening out their their viewership to see how broadly a, a given thing resonates, right? And obviously doing comedy stuff like like I'm doing with Mindy's Club is not the sort of, of stuff that appeals to everybody. Uh, whereas it's hard, you're hard pressed to find somebody who won't laugh at some baby doing something cute if it's some naturally occurring event in other words, if you happen to catch a really dramatic event with a short, well, then you don't have to create to accomplish interest. It's accomplished for you. I should. What I really should do is make a short of the out of the uh, Arcadia Car Fire, which is the most action-packed minute of video ever on talking with famous people. Uh, it's a video that. Um, that I I ran out of a restaurant when I saw that there was a fire nearby and was action news on the scene guy, you know. So I will find you the link to it here in case you want to look for it. There. Action practiced one minute in TWFP's history. I could get a 15 second clip out of this and probably, I have to cut it vertically. I have to figure out how to do that and get it, then get it on my phone. But probably it would be pretty successful because. Look at the fireman, here they come. Put a hose on it. It's vertical. Let's watch it in action. Don't go that way, lady. Hey, lady! No, lady! Welcome to Arcadia. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you want to go a different direction, probably. <laughs> oh, it's, it's making sparks. Look. Power line's going. Oh. I'm gonna get out of the way too. <laughs> this is more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. You guys should squirt it. Oh! You guys should totally squirt it with the hose. <laughs> so the takeaway here is that video is a minute long. And it is full of action. I cut it from a seven minute video. It's got 219 views and it's been up since October 3rd, 2017. If I cut that and upload it as a short, I can guarantee you it'll pop way more than that if I can find the best 15 seconds or something. Shorts aesthetics are challenging. That 15 second time limit means you're very locked into yeah, you know, what am I going to get rid of at all times? So anyway, 
hopefully that answers questions about shorts, opens more questions about shorts, and uh, gives you more meaningful information than YouTube ever gives you about anything. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese.